I speak to so many of you women who have incredibly high standards. And I say, maintain those standards, those standards that are yours, those standards when it comes to the core values of a man you want to invite into your life. But when it comes to standards that are set up by either society, maybe your circle of friends, your circle of influence, meaning those standards that he has to be a doctor or a lawyer. And a lot of those come from your family. A lot of those come from your mother. I want to ask you, what's the reason that you want to be with or marry a doctor or a lawyer? Consider the personality traits of someone who chooses those careers. They could be either those who want to serve. It could be those who want to earn a significant living financially, or it could be those who chose the career because the career was chosen for them by their parents and their family and their circle of influence. And it's not really something they want to do. Now, if you're going to choose to have someone who is a doctor or someone in that type of a career, depending on what type of doctor he is, he might, if he's one who is a, um, one who works in a hospital, he is possibly not going to be around at certain hours if he has to rush to the hospital. So when you have these standards of he has to have this type of career, think about what type of person chooses that career, why they chose the career. If you're wanting someone who's going to be around in the evenings and the weekends, does his career warrant that? What are the things that are most important to you in a relationship, in a person that you want to attract and a person you want to be with? If you would like to learn more, if you'd like to get free dating tips, go to daretodatedifferently.com and enter in your email and you'll receive free five tips on how to use dating apps that work. You'll, use, you'll receive free tips on how to choose the right photos for you, as well as some other extra bonuses.